Hi friends, this is Daniel Research and welcome to my new video. Market is bare these days, MTGOX trusty is dumping bitcoins and I think it's good opportunity for every one of us to sit back, relax and think about strategies that might be interesting in our future trades. In this video I'd love to share one of the my favorite trading strategies that works well on the bullish market. This trading strategy, like any other strategy, has two simple rules. The first one is plan the trade and the second one, which is very difficult to follow, is trade the plan. This strategy may not work for some traders because it requires a lot of patience. And majority of newcomers typically start with day trading in order to make quick profit. Day traders beginners typically work with 30 minutes of an hour chart. They start learning technical indicators like moving average or RSI or Bollinger Brands or any other. Then they start drawing some trend lines supporting resistance levels like here, here trend line here, and so on. And then they start learning some patterns like head and shoulders, triangles, wedges, and so on. But personally, I do not like day trading, because I make very small profit with it, that's the first reason, and the second reason, because it is very stressful for me. If day trading works fine for you, that's, I'm happy for you and I appreciate if you share how it works. Day trading is stressful for me because I need to spend a lot of time staring at charts, searching some patterns and so on. And sleep less than two hours if I leave any order overnight. That is why I prefer strategies where trading execution takes weeks or even months. But my profit in this case is uncomparable to day trading. Let's go back to my strategy and let's plan the trade. Firstly, we need some altcoin, so let's it be stratis and daily chart. So let's go to daily chart. We do not need any technical indicators here, so let's remove them. Okay. Pricing chart in this case should have typical pump and dump pattern. So let's zoom out. Here we have accumulation stage, parabolic uptrend, distribution, and downtrend. And finally, yeah. And finally, distribution overs in this place. High value in this case should be approximately five to six months before the current moment. So assuming that it was in June and currently we are in November, so yes, approximately five to six months. And high value should be greater than current value approximately eight to 10 times. All that means that New accumulation is about to happen and we can open a long position. But how do we do that? Assume that we want to spend approximately one Bitcoin to buy some strategies. Should we place one large buying order at this price, for instance, 42,000 Satoshis? So where should be our take profit point? And where should be stop loss point? This strategy has no stop losses at all because I use a little bit different risk management technique. Let's look at it. Assume that we are somewhere at this point and conditions are perfect, five to six months, eight to 10 times and so on. And we plan to open a long position. If we place one large buying order at this point and we do not have any stop losses, we will take a big loss because price will drop here and will drop here as well. So that is not a good scene, as you might guess. That is why I split one large buying order into multiple small chunks. Their size is approximately 
minimal amount allowed by exchange. So that would be $10 in case of Polonix, 20 on Binance, and 25 to 50 on Bitfinex. And I execute these small trades every single day. Like here, 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 here. So price goes down, goes up, goes down, and goes up. And this is how I manage my risk. New accumulation phase may take weeks or even months. So you'll have plenty enough of time to accumulate long position. And you should stop buying in two cases. First, of course, if you spend all your Bitcoin on Stratis, like in our example, or if price reaches some threshold. So let's talk about this threshold. I started accumulate Stratis when the price was approximately 45k Satoshis. So somewhere here. And I said to myself a threshold 100k Satoshis and that means that I execute buying orders every day until price reaches 100k Satoshis. So I started buying here and continued buying till this point. When price reaches 100k Satoshis, I stop buying. If price drops below 100k Satoshis, I continue accumulate long position. Everything is clear with buying, now let's figure out when we need to sell. In this case I also have a threshold, which is 150k Satoshis. So here it is. In case of Stratis, I have two selling days. So, I stop buying when price reaches 100k Satoshis. Do nothing if price is in the range between 100k and 150k. And start selling when price is above 100K, 150k Satoshis. Like with buying, I do not use large sell orders. I sell every day very small amounts of strategies when the price is above 150k satoshis when price starts to drop below i stop selling and when price drops below 100k satoshis i start buying again so in this case I had very small uh, time frame to sell Satoshis, I still have large accumulated position and waiting for the next threshold break. This strategy makes me at least 50% of profit. If I buy strategies at 100k Satoshis and sell it at 150k Satoshis, I'll make exactly 50% profit. But in general this amount is much larger because I started to accumulate strategies at much lower prices. As you see, the strategy is not difficult. It's actually much easier for me at least than day trading. But of course it requires a lot of patience and self-discipline. Because you need to buy every day and with very small orders. I typically use my profit from mining and actually it, I receive this profit on a daily basis and I reinvest this profit into some cryptocurrency. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!